Hi, my name is Sarah Griffith. I work at Westlake Pro in Los Angeles, California. This video is part 9 of our Avid Pro Tools Matrix video series, where I'm providing an in-depth overview of the functionality of this new converter, and providing tutorials covering a variety of functionalities and situations. In this video, I will be expanding upon video number 8, where I provided a brief overview of ProMon monitor control. I will be providing a tutorial on how to set up a simple stereo monitoring system with the Matrix and the Avid S6. First, connect your computer and the Pro Tools Matrix via a DigiLink cable into the primary HDX port of the Matrix. Also, make sure that your computer, Matrix, and Avid S6 are connected to the same network via an Ethernet switch. Now, let's check out the GUI, or graphical user interface. Launch Dadman, and under Settings, select Device List. If your network settings are correct, the Pro Tools matrix you have connected should appear. Check the Connect box to connect to the unit. To establish communication between Dadman and the S6, go back to the Settings menu of Dadman and click on Yukon to enable. A check mark will appear, showing you that Yukon is activated and ready to use. An important note here is to make sure that WS Control is running on your computer as well, as this is what makes the Dadman application viewable on the S6. It should already be running, but if not, please select it from your Applications folder so it can start running. Click and close out of the Device List page so you can view the main GUI of Dadman. Scroll down to the bottom of the Dadman software to the Configuration module. Go to Pro Tools HD Settings. You can select which mode you would like the HDX port on the Pro Tools matrix to emulate. Pro Tools will then recognize the matrix as the type specified. For this example, select HDIO for both ports. You can choose 2 times primary for port 1 on the matrix to connect to port 1 of your Pro Tools HDX card, and the port 2 of the matrix to port 2 of your Pro Tools HDX card. This allows both ports of your HDX card to be connected to your Pro Tools matrix, and each port of the matrix will emulate two HD IOs. This will appear in Pro Tools IO setup as four different 16-channel interfaces for a total of 64 channels. Alternatively, you can choose primary slash expansion which allows two separate Pro Tools systems to be connected. Each will have 32 channels of I.O. Once you have chosen how you would like Pro Tools to see the matrix, when you open Pro Tools I.O. and hardware setup, the matrix should appear. Select PHD1 in the Dadman Software Connectivity Matrix. The green boxes next to the channel numbers on the input side indicate the source, in this case Pro Tools, is available, clocked correctly, and ready to use. Now that you have the matrix set up to communicate with Pro Tools, it's time to set up your monitoring parameters. To make sure the S6 is communicating with Dadman, go to the workstation page of the S6. It is a button labeled WS that is at the topmost left of the S6 center section, below the center display. Drag your computer shown as available from the network to the connected list. In Dadman, under Settings, select Monitor Profile to bring up the Monitor Profile configuration page. With Groups selected, click the drop-down menu to select the serial number of the matrix unit to be used. The reason you have to select a serial number is because only one matrix can provide monitor control at a time, even if multiple units are connected. Check the Enable Monitor box, shown in the upper left of the window, below the Select Unit section. At this point, with the S6 and Dadman, you will only see talkback settings, as that is the only feature that is configured by default when there is no monitor profile loaded. On the S6, press the Home button that is to the left of the main S6 center section, and then press the Monitoring button below the center screen. If you don't see the talkback knob activated on the S6, you may need to restart the S6WS Control app or quit and restart Dadman. WS Control stands for Workstation Control, which is the Yukon control software for the S6. The WS Control app icon should appear in the upper right-hand corner of your top desktop menu bar, showing you that the S6 is connected. Click to access its menu and select Quit to quit the program. Restart by finding and selecting it from your Applications folder. The Dadman software must be running in the foreground to communicate with the S6. If you do not want the Dadman software in the foreground, you need to lock it to the monitor control section of the S6. To do this, 
bring Dadman to the foreground of your computer. With Dadman visible on the monitor control section of the S6, press the topmost setup button closest to the touchscreen below the right side on the S6. This should result in the ability to maintain Dadman control while Pro Tools is brought to the computer foreground. The first thing to do in Dadman is to create a monitor set. In the Monitor Profile Configuration page of Dadman, right-click anywhere in the Groups section under the Talkback line. Select Add Monitor. Right-click on Monitor and make sure Set Monitor Mode is set to Master. If you right-click on Monitor, you will also see Set Yukon Mode. This is where you can designate a monitor set to show up on the S6 monitors A to D or the Control Room. For our purpose, set it to Control Room. Use the arrow next to Monitor to drop down to see Sources, Outputs, Fold Down, and Meters. To define a source, right-click Sources and select Add New Source to add a new input source. To rename the source, right-click on the new input set that you just created. Select Rename and Name as you wish. Right-click again on New Input Set and select Set Group Format, which will allow you to choose the source type from a drop-down menu from Stereo, 5.1, multi, useful for Atmos, etc. For this example, choose Stereo. On the right side of the window under the Channel column, right-click Assign Channel to choose your input source. Let's choose PHD1 Channel 1 for the left and PHD1 Channel 2 for the right. These correspond with Pro Tools outputs 1 and 2. To define your outputs to your speakers, use the same process as defining the sources as we just did. Right-click on Outputs and select Add New Set. Follow the same steps we just did for our sources to rename this output and to choose Group Format to apply to the new output set. For this example, please choose Stereo as the group format. On the right-hand side, right-click on Assign Channel to assign your output channels following the same steps as we did previously to assign our input sources. For now, let's choose DA Channel 1 for the left side and DA channel 2 for the right side. One thing to note here, once you've chosen output channels to be used in a monitor profile, you will not be able to select those corresponding output channels for another use. In the main GUI interface under connectivity in the routing matrix, please notice that these outputs will have an X indicating their status as assigned. If you right click on your outputs dropdown, you will notice there is also the option to set talkback mode. This is where you can add the talkback source to the output. There are various options to choose from. No talkback, no talkback dim, no talkback cut, talkback no attenuation, talkback dim, and talkback cut. No talkback means nothing happens on that monitor set when the talkback button is pressed. No talkback dim means when the talkback button is pressed, no talkback is inserted, but the monitor set is dimmed. Dim level is defined on the S6, typically used on control room monitor set. No talkback cut means when the talkback button is pressed, no talkback is inserted, but the monitor set is cut, typically used on control room monitor set. Talkback no attenuation means when the talkback button is pressed, the talkback channel is mixed in on the monitor set and the background is maintained at a normal level. Talkback dim means when the talkback button is pressed, the talkback channel is mixed in on the monitor set and the background is dimmed. Dim levels defined on the S6. Talkback cut means when the talkback button is pressed, the talkback channel is mixed in on the monitor set and the background is completely cut. To define a talkback input source, select Talkback Input. You will see Assign Channel. Right-click on Assign Channel to be able to assign a talkback source. In the Pro Tools application, go to the Pro Tools Setup menu and select I.O. To create a new stereo path, select New Path and choose Stereo and click Create. In the routing matrix of Pro Tools I.O., assign it to outputs 1 and 2 for the purposes of this example. Select OK to close out a Pro Tools I.O. setup. In the Pro Tools Mix or Edit window, assign your track outputs to the stereo output channel you just created in the new Pro Tools I.O. With an appropriate cable connecting the assigned Pro Tools matrix output, you should hear audio on channels 1 and 2. Here, you can see the source we made and the destination we made. You can also see this via the soft keys here. When sources and destinations are created in the monitor page of Dadman, it also creates a new box in the main page of the Dadman GUI, below your I.O. faders and above the connectivity matrix called MON. Here, you have access to the same controls as you would on the S6. There are buttons, faders, and meters. 
you can sum sources and switch between speaker sets here. The default view does not show you meters and faders for your sources. Click on the Mix button for an expanded view to enable this. You can also toggle between switching and summing your sources by clicking on the Switch button. This concludes Part 9 of our Avid Pro Tools Matrix video series. In our next video, we will expand upon the monitor control functionality of the matrix, explaining how to use fold downs and set up external metering devices. To learn more about this product, please check out our YouTube channel to see other videos in this series. We've provided a link in the video description for your convenience.